Welcome everybody to the Church of the Tone Priest. We've got a big episode today. We're finally getting our hands dirty and starting to assemble the prototype of a project that I've been thinking about and planning and working on for a while now. Um, I've been wanting to make basically a Malcolm and Angus Young in a box. But you may say, hey, Tone Priest, they already have one of those. They already have an Angus Young in a box. It's called the Marshall Super Lead Stack. Well, you'd be correct, but uh, I was thinking maybe a little bit smaller box. So we're going to make an effects pedal, and we're going to um, start with some other circuits as the basis, and we're going to change them, modify them, and improve them, as it were, to make something that I want to make. So in order to get an Angus Young in a box, uh, you basically need two things. Um, like we mentioned, we need a Marshall Plexi or... You know an old Marshall amplifier and the other thing is you need the Schaefer Vega diversity system there's some cool uh, advertisement and what that is is uh, back in the day the Schaefer Vega diversity system was a wireless uh, apparently it was the first reliable wireless system that uh, many 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 rock bands used back in the day ACDC Pink Floyd Fleetwood Mac, Eagles, I think, I don't know. Basically, everybody used it. But uh, what uh, Angus found was the transmitter had like a boost system, and it's got a little bit of compression, I believe, also in it. And that added some mojo to his tone that he really liked. And he would use the wireless, even in the studio, you know, when a chord would have been fine because he liked the way it sounded. So, for my super duper pedal, we're going to have, here's our Plexi, or here's our Marshall amplifier, and uh, we've made some alterations, which I'll show you in a minute. And then the other half will be a clone of the Schaefer Vega system. But uh, that's going to have to wait for another day. Right now we're working on the Marshall part. So here is the MI Audio Crunch Box. Here's the schematic for that. And uh, if you watch the hard clipping diode shootout, this is what we used. This circuit here and last night I uh, put this thing together here's the layout board for strip board put this guy together and uh, don't laugh at my my diode sockets there I obviously have learning disabilities but anyway I socketed uh, the spots for the clipping diodes so that we can do some more experimentation and what I have done is I've added a couple of switches, so you can have A or B, two different choices of clipping diodes you want to use. So it'll be the, the left side or the right side. Right now I just have two diodes in on the right side. And that's what this switch does, it flips from left to right. It's a, uh, what is that, double pole, single pole. And down here we have a double pole, double throw, on, off, on. So in the middle position it's off and you're bypassing any clipping diodes and then if it's in the up position you will have symmetrical diodes so just two diodes as you see here and if you put it in a down position it'll be asymmetrical so you have one two and then on this side right here you will you can have a third diode and this is how we set it up on the strip board um there was i did make a mistake let me make sure i'm not giving you bad information it's the same coming in from j9 yeah, that'll work. So these guys are taken out, and you have a jumper from uh, the J strip down to here. And then you also need to add a jumper to ground. So this row here is ground, and you just need a jumper from here to um, ground somewhere. And that's how it works. And here's all the switches and on this side. And that's where we're at. So, I got it plugged into the katana. Let's see how she sounds. All right, here's a clean signal. And it will make a bunch of noise and static and stuff just because this. So, bear that in mind. When it's in an enclosure, it won't be all radical. <laughs> I 
right now we have the two red LED clipping diodes in the circuit. If we pop them out, and what else do we have? We have tone. Presence. And all obviously uh, volume. I think we got the gain down pretty low with the red LEDs, and I think that's that's pretty good. That ain't bad. I mean, obviously, we're not going to sound exactly like Malcolm and Angus, but uh, we're in the same ballpark, I think. I mean, considering we're using a Telecaster going through a clean katana. And uh, if we turn the gain up, we can really get some, uh... you get the idea so what I'm gonna do now I think I'm going to put this in the enclosure and we got a big enclosure so it'll fit the two separate you know circuits the uh, Schaefer Vega booster and uh, limiter in the uh, the Marshall in a box here and then we'll start experimenting with the diodes and we'll come up with the uh, you know the final choice of what we're going to use Good stuff. Okay, since we're still in the prototype phase, I don't think I'm going to stick this in the big enclosure right now and leave room for the the uh, Schaefer Vega. Uh, I think I'll make two separate pedals um, to continue the prototype process. These are on sale right now at Small Bear Electronics for like three bucks, three, four bucks. So, uh, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, there you go. So we'll stick this guy in here, and this will be our working prototype. And uh, when we're finally done and we've settled on the circuit, you know, I got this big, massive piece of strip board. We'll have uh, two circuits become one circuit, and uh, I've got some other surprises in store for this whole project so you know more to come here we are i have the prototype all assembled so now we're going to experiment with some clipping diodes and uh, see what happens all right i did a bunch of experimentation and i've come to a final decision on the uh clipping diodes uh, that we're going to be using in the Hills Balls pedal here. So on the pedal we have presence, tone, and gain. And bear in mind, this is just a prototype. It's not meant to be like a final product or, at all. It's just something for me to experiment with. So 
knob positions and you'll see when I flip it over it's kind of a uh, complete bird's nest on the inside but anyway we have presence control tone control gain control and then a the, uh, volume and we have switches so the first switch here in the top position it's symmetrical clipping diodes so there's just two diodes going in reverse directions uh, the bottom is asymmetrical that adds a third diode into the clipping circuit and then in the middle, it shuts the diode clipping off, and it's just the uh, op-amp overdrive or distortion. And then uh, this switch goes left and right, and we're switching between LED clipping, and on this side, it's germanium clipping. Those are the uh, diodes I've, uh, I've chosen, and I'll show you on the back what that looks like. All right, so for the LED clipping, we have two red LEDs. And then when you switch it into asymmetric mode, it adds a third yellow LED. And then on the germanium side, we have two uh, germaniums. I think they're one N34As. So two germanium diodes. And when you flip it into asymmetric mode, it adds an orange LED. And I chose these to kind of get a balance between, you know, how much distortion you get. Because the germanium diodes add, you know, heavy distortion and adding that orange LED just kind of chills it out a bit. So you get a, a wider range of useful lists for this pedal to do all sorts of, uh, get all sorts of different tones. And then uh, I like the way the red LEDs sound the best. The purple LEDs didn't really do a whole lot. I don't, I, I think they have too much forward voltage and you know, the circuit's not really getting through it. And there didn't really seem to be much difference between, you know, having the clipping di diodes out of circuit and just doing the op-amp uh, distortion. But anyway, you can actually see these light up. So right now we're in LED mode, A and in symmetrical. And you should see the two red LEDs light up when I uh, play some notes. <laughs> flip it into asymmetric, you should see the yellow LED turn on as well. Alright, and now we'll go back into symmetrical and we'll go to the germanium side. So obviously you're not going to see anything light up. And the uh, germanium diodes um, give it a lot more compression, so you have to make up the volume with the volume knob. And then if we turn the germanium side into asymmetrical mode, we should see the orange LED light up. And then we can turn Put the pedal in um, just op amp mode with no uh, clipping diodes in circuit. And as you can see, it already has a, a fair amount of, um, you know, breakup all on its own without the uh, clipping diodes in the circuit. But anyway, we'll flip her over. I'll put a couple of mics in front of this amplifier. The amplifier we're using today is my 1962 Gibson. GA5T, and this is installed in a cab I made myself. It's got a 12-inch 1969 Jensen C12R, I think. So uh, let me set that up, and we'll play a few notes. All right, I've got everything set up uh, in Reaper here. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. And originally, you know, the project was meant to be, you know, an Angus Young in a box, but I think it uh, does a fairly decent job of doing that, but uh, so much more as well. So let's get a clean tone, and I just have a little bit of reverb going through. All right, there's a clean tone. All right, so we just recorded a whole demo without uh, actually recording in Reaper. So we're going to do it again. Take two. Alrighty, so we got her fired up here. We'll start off in symmetrical LED mode. Go to 
asymmetrical. As you can see, there's a shit ton of compression on these, so you gotta make it up with the volume. And then uh, if we go to asymmetrical. quite a bit of stuff so we'll go back over to LED leave it in asymmetrical mode and we'll uh, ride the volume on the uh, guitar a little bit is definitely going to fit the bill. It definitely uh, comes very close to being an Angus song in a box and it does a whole lot more. So there you go. So thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you come back to see uh, the part two of this video where we make the uh, Schaefer Vega boost section for this uh, super duper pedal. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Rock on dudes and dudettes. Done!